to, I, I really want to thank you for having me on, on the show. Why I really that? do. Well, I'm married to uh, an English girl. And uh, I met her while I was doing Aliens here in London. And uh, she had to go back and tell her parents that she was going out with an American actor, which yeah. didn't go over very well. No, I think they were hoping well. for a rocket scientist or a doctor or yeah, something. Brain surgeon, yeah. And she said, no, no, he's not uh, just any actor. He's in The Terminator and, and this new movie, Aliens. He's going to be a big movie star. And her father said, has he been on Wogan? <laughs> she said, no, he hasn't been on Wogan. He's not a movie star. <laughs> so Brian, here I am. Here's Mr. Wogan. Brian, you're my kind of person. <laughs> Now, Thank you, you. This, this K2 is the story of two friends who tackle the world's most dangerous mountain. I mean, were you just acting in front of a backdrop or were you up a mountain somewhere? No, we shot this all in locations. We shot in Pakistan, we shot uh, in British Columbia. We up actually, real mountains. Up real mountains. With snow up on, the on top. Yeah, big peaks, big drops. And we, uh, we lived in tents uh, for about six weeks. And it was cold. Terry. This is not the, <laughs> it was the, very cold. This is not the glamorous life of the Hollywood star. No, that not at all. No, no hot running water. No hot water. Don't tell me. No and, makeup. Uh, yeah, we had makeup. Those makeup, there, right? Yeah. yeah, we had makeup. We gotta <laughs> oh, yeah. always gotta have good, the yeah. makeup. Gotta have that. And yeah. the working conditions were really rough. Very, very. Why difficult. did you sign this? Were you very hard up? Did you need the money? Uh, <laughs> yes. Ah. <laughs> exactly. That's no, why I, I do this. I yeah. had, I had worked uh, I had worked with a, a director who's. Uh, a uh, really fantastic director, an English director named Frank Rodham. Of course, should all be very used to proud work for the BBC. Of. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. Uh, directed Quadrophenia, which is just a f wonderful movie. And uh, he and I did the movie called Lords of Discipline uh, years ago, which was about the first black cadet at a military school in the South. And so uh, our relationship started there, and we kept in contact, and we were always looking for something to do together. And uh, he called and asked me about it, and um, I didn't know it was going to be quite as difficult well, I mean, as it really. was. Have you, are you a natural climber? Are you a climber? No. I had never climbed before, and I don't really even like heights very but much. But you actually had to climb yep. the sides of cliffs and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. They say, the mountaineers say, keep the mountain in front of you. So you start at the bottom, the mountain's right here, right? And you just climb, and you keep the mountain in front of you, and you don't ever go... But I would have been... Uh, you know. I would have been witless with fear and doing something. I was something. frightened. I was frightened throughout. It was... Uh, it was a difficult, difficult shoot because of the storms, and uh, it was dangerous because we were in helicopters day in and day out, you know, taking us up the mountain. It was nice to wake up in the morning, though, and have them say, Mr. Bean, your helicopter's waiting. <laughs> but I you, like that. You camped out in the glacier for a, for a month. Uh, yeah, we were up there yeah, a little bit over a month, I think, five or six weeks, living in tents, you know, one meal a day, and uh, storms. I think we had 12 or 15 feet of snow one, uh, one night. The next day I woke up, pulled down the zip of my tent, just snow. Nothing but snow, you know. Me and Frank and the rest of the crew and the pr producers all picked up a shovel and we spent the next day and a half digging out the equipment and the cables and the sets. And, and, then, and, I, and then I'll bet it didn't snow when you wanted it to snow. Exactly. That's the, the yeah. oldest story in the book. Exactly. It? it was difficult for us because we uh, never knew which scene we were going to shoot because uh, up in the mountains, the weather changes very quickly. It can be sunshine one minute, it can be overcast the next minute, it can be snowing the next minute. And so in the morning, we'd wake up and we'd have a call sheet, and it had like five or six or seven, ten different scenes we could possibly shoot. So instead of knowing what you were going to do, you had to wake up in the morning and be ready to shoot. Were you afraid about all the time? Uh, it, was, it was a pretty frightening. Anybody, pretty anybody get hurt? Or anything nobody got hurt. I've done a lot of these action movies. You, you have know, you the did Terminator the and the Abyss. Yeah. And The Abyss was a very scary to, movie to work on because it was all shot underwater. And, uh, Why do you get big for these movies? <laughs> <laughs> the I don't Abyss know. and K2 you know, and Terminator, I'm all that a, fire. I'm kind of a favorite of Jim Cameron's, who yeah. uh, directed The Terminator and Aliens in The Abyss. And uh, those, are the, those movies are the ones that most people know me from because they're the most successful ones. Yeah. But uh, this one's really good, too. Yeah. It's very good. And I, I just wanted to mention also that... Uh, there's another actor named Matt Craven, who's really, really fabulous, who's in uh, Jacob's Ladder, which I think is playing out now. Yeah. And the abyss you had to go down, that must have been claustrophobic. Yeah, it was pretty scary. We were down about 35 or 40 feet, and uh, I don't know if you saw the movie, but we wore weights, the characters that we played, and we walked along the bottom of the, uh, of the uh, ocean floor. And so we couldn't swim to the surface if something went wrong. And so if we lost our air supply, there were divers around looking at us, and we had to signal to them that we'd lost our air supply, which rarely happens. But we were down there once, and uh, they lost power at the studio. So it went completely black, just boom, just like somebody turned the lights out. And all the people were supposed to be looking out for us. They didn't, uh, you know, they didn't know where we were, and a lot of us didn't know how much air we had. So that was 
that was very, very scary. I actually had a prop flashlight on that we used in the abyss a lot. And after about a minute of shaking in my boots, as they say, I, I realized that I had this flashlight on. So I uh, turned on the flashlight, you know, and then people started coming from all over yeah. the place, you know, and the lights eventually came on, but it was pretty scary. And then you did the Terminator with a, with a relatively unknown actor, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, did Arnold. you ever think he'd make it? Well, yeah, you know, I, like, I liked Arnold. When I made the movie with him, he was not the big star that he is now. And actually, the press in the United States used to take a lot of shots at him because he'd done the Conan movies. Nobody took him very seriously. I have a friend who'd call me up, serious actor friends. And, well, what are you doing now, Michael? And I'd say, well, I'm working on a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And they go, <laughs> <laughs> great, Michael. You know, your career's yeah. going really well, isn't it? You know? Yeah, but not now. Uh, but not yeah, now. and he's gone on. But he was. He's really fabulous to work with. People ask me what it was like to work with him, but in that movie, we were never, I was always running away from him, you know? Yeah. So we were never in the same frame. He's By the, the kind time of fellow you'd run away from anyway. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. <laughs> well, we're delighted to have you, and I'm glad that your father-in-law has at last <laughs> been convinced of your stardom, and I'm sure it can only grow bigger and bigger, but you just want to take a bit of care of yourself, because obviously they're casting you with these. Somebody's trying to get rid of you. Yeah, you, you might be right. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have you with us. Thank you very Michael much. Michael Bean, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey, thanks, Michael. Have we found?